Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I have some amazing smelly mail to share with you. So I've got two separate packages here. I did a decant swap with somebody, um, and then I got another beautiful smelly mail package in the mail from um, a subscriber, and then my beautiful friend sent me a sent me a fragrance and then I got my scent bird as well, which I am in love with and I can't wait to share it with you. So anyways, I'm gonna jump right in because I've got a ton of stuff here to talk about. We're gonna start with the, the uh, decant swap that I did. So the first thing that she sent, she sent me a, an oil perfumery fragrance. I like squealed when I saw this because I've been dying to get my nose on this perfume and the a bottle of the real perfume is insanely expensive it's like a 250 dollars bottle of perfume and i don't even know why this is a dupe of the perfume called crybaby milk or crybaby perfume milk from melanie martinez um i don't even know who melanie martinez is the only reason i even know she exists is because my daughter knows who she is but I have seen this perfume around. It's kind of been on my radar for a little bit and I had no idea what to expect and I still really don't. I really don't know what I'm smelling. It's sweet and citrusy and creamy, lactonic and very strange. It's a strange perfume, but there's something about it that I love. It reminds me of some kind of a candy. Mind you, this is a clone. I have no idea what the real fragrance smells like, you know, and I have no idea what to even compare this to. I have no idea if this is even close to the real thing, but I love this. I love this so much. I think this is gonna be an amazing warm weather perfume. It smells so good. There's something kind of nostalgic about it. It smells amazing. It smells like something from my childhood, but also like nothing I've ever smelled before. I don't know that I've ever smelled another perfume quite like this. I don't know. I love it. I love it so much and I adore oil perfumery fragrances. They have the best roller balls on the market as far as for oils. Their roller balls are just they're just way better than any other rollerball on the market. There's something about the way that it's like kind of set down in that plastic and then the stainless steel rollerball, it just glides. It's so smooth and perfect. It lets out a lot of oil. I just adore it. So yeah, I am a little bit obsessed with this one right here. This is gonna live out and I'm gonna be wearing this one like probably on and off throughout the entire spring summer season i'm obsessed with this i love it love it love it so much so anyways that is the first thing that she sent that is from melania martinez and it's called crybaby perfume milk but from oil perfumery okay and then the rest of these are decants or samples that she sent um, so we'll start with this one. So the first one that she sent is a Fragonard perfume and this is called Fragonard Vini. I have never smelled this one before so I am super excited to smell it. This one is really nice. It's just a, it's not an overly sweet vanilla. It's kind of a, it's kind of like just a simple vanilla fragrance. Really, really pretty. I love vanilla. I love vanilla anything so super excited to give that one a test. Um, I've only tested one of these on my skin so far, so as I um, wear these and test them, I will definitely put them in a What I Wore Last Week video. Okay, next we have one called uh, Brie Court Ombre Noir. It's a beautiful, deep, dark amber. It reminds me a lot. It reminds me a lot of Halston Woman Amber. It's a really beautiful, dark, almost like a plummy amber in the same way that Halston Amber, Halston Woman Amber is. Like this dark resinous kind of plummy amber. Really, really beautiful. I love it. I love a good amber fragrance. So super excited to test that one. Okay, next, this is Killian Angel Share. And um, I'm gonna spray this one directly on my skin. I'm super excited to have a decant of this so that I can test it next to the Duwa. Um, to the Duwa clone to see if I'm okay with just having the Duwa or if I'm gonna need to buy the real thing. Oh my goodness. So 
This angel share, this is gonna sound really weird. This smells like a mincemeat pie to me. It smells like baked soft apples, like baked, baked soft sweet apples with a ton of spice soaked in booze. Spicy, sweet, booze soaked apples. That's what Angel Share smells like. And I can tell you that I don't know that the Dua smells exactly like this, but I really, really like the Dua version. I might like the Dua version a little bit better. And I think that the Dua version lasts longer, like performs better. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this a really good wear test, but I have a feeling the Dua is gonna beat this one. It's beautiful, but I think I'm gonna be content with the Dua one. So anyways, that is Killian Angel Share. Okay, next we have a Trussardi fragrance. This is Trussardi uh, Passa Giata. It's one of those Trussardis that has like a mile long name, which my beautiful friend sent me a, sent me a bottle of one of them and I love it. I think I've smelled this one before. This smells like, smells like chocolate caramel popcorn. I'm definitely getting like a powdery chocolate caramel, a little bit of like a saltiness almost. Oh, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to give, I can't wait to give this one a really good full wear test. These Trussardis, this whole line, um, they're pretty expensive, but gosh, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. A lot of them are like beautiful gourmand scents. So yeah, this one is stunning. So that is Trussardi Passa Giata. One of these sadly leaked. And I'm not totally sure what it is, but it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, the angel share is so good. And yeah, it's the Dua is really, really similar. And Kamra from Latafa isn't super similar. Or it's not like a, I wouldn't say that Kamra is a clone of angel share, but it's similar. It's definitely similar. So, okay. So this is the one that leaked a little bit. And I think this is another Brie Court one, I think. And it started with an F. Um, so I'm not totally sure, but it smells amazing. It smells, this one smells really, it smells expensive. It's almost like an amber, like another amber of some sort. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of an amber. It's like an apple pie amber. It's definitely an apple pie amber. It reminds me a lot of my Hermes Ombre Nargule or my Boucheron Ombre d'Alexandrie, but this one is a little bit more even spicier than those ones. It's gorgeous. Ugh, I love it. Whatever it is, it's stunning and I will be happy to wear it. I'm pretty sure it's another Brie Court something. Okay, next we have this one I'm super excited about. I had no idea that Beekman made perfume. This is a fragrance from Beekman called Vanilla Absolute or Absolute. I'm super excited about this. It's beautiful. It's a creamy, creamy vanilla. Very slightly sweet, really milky, creamy vanilla. In fact, milky is a better word than creamy. It's really light. It's a very light, milky vanilla. I'm super excited to try this one. Um, if I remember correctly, Beekman isn't, it can be expensive, like if you buy it off of like QVC or something, but so you can find Beekman online um, for a good price sometimes, and sometimes you can find it at TJ Maxx for a really good price. So anyways, that is Beekman Vanilla Absolute or Absolute, one of the two. And then the last one in this little package is um, or, or the last one in this little bag is Profumum Venetis. And this is the only one that I've tested on my skin. This one reminds me a lot of the house La Maison de la Venie. It reminds me of their vanilla scents. It's that same kind of, kind of slightly fruity, yummy, edible vanilla. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's just, it's a yummy vanilla. So that is Profumum Venetis. Super excited. I only sprayed it on my hand. I haven't given that one a full wear test yet. So, so I am super excited to give that one a full wear test. Oh my gosh, the crybaby. There's something about it. I don't know what it is about that perfume, but oh my gosh, it's yum. Okay, and then here's another little bag. And these, I think these are more uh, like samples. So the first one, this is Chocolate Queen from Navitus. 
I've never smelled anything from Navitas. I think Chocolate Queen is a is another reviewer's perfume. I'm not totally sure who, but um, I'm pretty sure it's another reviewer's fragrance. I have not tested this one on my skin yet. This one's really nice. Definitely a chocolate perfume. It's kind of like a, it's a fruity chocolate. There's something really fruity in the background. It's really pretty. I'm gonna have to try that one on my skin because I don't trust this one on paper. Um, chocolate tends to go really weird on paper, so I'm gonna just reserve all judgment until I actually test that one on skin because, again, chocolate is, it can do weird things on paper. So anyways, that one is called Chocolate Queen from Navitas. If, you, if that's how you say that. Okay, next we have Divine Aphrodisiac from Navitas. I don't know if this is another reviewer's fragrance. I'm not sure. This might be a reviewer, another reviewer's fragrance. I don't know if Navitas is like its own house. I'm not super familiar with Navitas as a house. So I don't know if it's like their, its own house that makes its own fragrances or if it's a house that kind of works with reviewers to make their fragrances i'm not i'm just not totally sure maybe if you guys know you can let me know in the comments this one is oh this one's nutty it smells like a nutty dessert like a nutty candy bar or something it smells like a salty nutty candy bar like what what are those candy bars that are like all nuts like a payday or something that's kind of what this reminds me of like a salty nutty candy bar oh it smells yummy I'm gonna have to give that one a good test on my skin. Okay, next we have, I have no idea who makes this, but it's called Strawberry Kiss. Um, I will try to look it up and put it on the screen for you, but I saw strawberry and I got excited because I love strawberry perfumes. Ooh, oh, it's beautiful. It reminds me of, it smells like fruit stripe gum. That takes me straight back to my childhood and reminds me of fruit stripe gum. And you know how fruit stripe gum was, it was all different colors, but they all tasted the same. It was all that same kind of fruity, just fruity flavor. That's what this smells like. This smells like straight up fruit stripe gum, which I love. That makes me so happy. I can't wait to test that one. That's gonna be so fun. So that one is called Strawberry Kiss. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing, but I've got, I've got a ton more fragrances to get through. Okay, next we have three Lucky Scent samples. The first one is, this one is called Essential Faith Bliss. And I've never heard of this one before. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, I think this is an oil. Yeah, it's an oil. Oh, it's light. It's kind of light and skin-like. Oh, it's really pretty. Light, skin-like, a little bit milky. Okay, next we have one called uh, Epico Vanny Noir. I think this is another oil. No. This is a perfume. Ooh, that's interesting. It smells like a, smells like an indie house to me. It smells like something you would get from an indie house. Very slightly sweet. It's got a little bit of a smokiness to it. Slightly resinous, a little bit woody, but light. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like an incense, but more like high-end smelling. It's really pretty. So that one is called Epico Vanny Noir. Um, that's another thing I think some people get confused and think that when I do these smelly mail videos that I'm reviewing these fragrances. I am in no way reviewing these fragrances. The, this is the first time I'm smelling them, so I don't have enough experience with any of these perfumes to be reviewing them. I'm just sharing my smelly mail with you guys. So yeah, um, that's what a What I Wore Last Week video is for. That's um, I will play with these perfumes and then the ones that I give a full wear test to, I will put into a what I wore last week video so that I can update you guys on what I've tested and then go into what it smelled like on skin, how it performed, um, how it wore, things like that. Um, when I do smelly male videos, these are in no way review videos. Okay, so the last one is, this is a Maison Tahit fragrance and this is called Cafe Gourmand. I love Maison Tahit. I've had a few samples from the house and they're beautiful. They, unfortunately, they just don't last very long. 
um, which sadly I adore vanilla fragrances. They're some of my favorite fragrances in the whole wide world, but unfortunately they just don't last very long. This one's a lot stronger than, I think I've got two other samples from this house. This one's a lot stronger. It's definitely got like a black coffee. It's weird, it's almost like, um, I have a fragrance from Dua that's called like Cafe Dua or something. And it's got like a, it's got like a coffee and like a brioche note in it or some kind of like a bread note in it. I think it is brioche. And I'm getting the same kind of vibe from this. It's almost like a coffee, like the smell of in, the inside of a coffee shop. Like where you're not only smelling coffee, but you're smelling pastries and bread. It's the same kind of thing with this one. This is really pretty. So that one is called Maison to Heat Cafe Gourmand. And those are all the fragrances from the decant swap that I did. So I'm gonna jump into the Smelly Meal package that I got. Okay, so the first thing that she sent is this beautiful bottle from Salvador Dali. This is a fragrance called, let's see here. This is a fragrance called La Belle A L'Ocelot, and that's like an ocelot on the front of the bottle. I love Salvador Dali perfumes, so I was super excited to see this one in there. She sent me a beautiful little card with them, and in the card she talks about how this fragrance is something like Chanel number no. five or Shalimar, something in between those two fragrances. You know I love vintage smelling perfumes. And this is definitely vintage leaning, but this is gorgeous. Yes, it is definitely, and I would agree that it definitely leans, it definitely leans a little bit more towards, I would say like Shalimar. It, it definitely resembles Shalimar, but like a much lighter version of Shalimar and with much more vanilla than Shalimar. I, I'm not totally sure if this has vanilla. I think it does. It's, yeah, I'm quite sure this has got like a ton of vanilla in it. So to me, this is like a slightly more citric, less resinous, lighter, just lighter in general, like more vanilla heavy. Shalimar. I have not tried this on my skin yet, but I cannot wait to. I will be giving this a full wear test, hopefully in this upcoming week. Um, I think it's really warm out f for the next few days, but I do think it's going to cool off again. And as soon as it cools off, I'm going to pull this out and give it a good full wear test. I love it. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. If you like fragrances like Shalimar, but like the original Shalimar Eau de Parfum is a little too much even for me. It's too resinous, it's too heavy. It ends up smelling like um, burning rubber on my skin. And this is way, this is like much, much lighter, much more wearable than Shalimar. But if you like vintagey types of perfumes like that, I think you would really like this. Oh, it's gorgeous. I am so over the moon to have this in my collection. Um, not only because I just love Salvador Dali, I love Salvador Dali perfumes, I love this bottle, but I love a vintage style perfume and it is gorgeous. So that is the first one. That is Salvador Dali La Belle a la salat okay next she sent um a little sample here i was so excited when i opened this little box and i saw the most beautiful little sample of rocha tocad i love i mean how cute is that little sample vial with the little oh my gosh it's gorgeous and I think, I don't think this is the same formulation that I have. I think that this is an older formulation than the one I have. This is way better. Oh my gosh, this smells way better than my Tocad, and I love my Tocad. Like, I love my new formulation of Tocad, but this, either this is an older formulation that is way better, or it's aged a lot and has gotten better. I think it's an older formulation that's just better. It's amazing. It's so good. I am super excited to have this little vial. So anyways, that is Rochat Tocad. Maybe if you guys know, um, 
you can let me know if this is like an older formulation. I think it is. Okay, next she sent this Naomi Campbell perfume. I have another Naomi Campbell perfume that I think is just gorgeous. It's just the original like Naomi Campbell perfume. It's beautiful. This is Naomi Campbell Pret a Porter. I love this. I love this so much. This is like a sweet, musky floral. It's kind of like a sweet, slightly perfumey, musky floral with maybe like plum and vanilla or some kind of a fruit and a vanilla. It reminds me just a little bit of the Michael Buble, Michael Buble perfume. It's very slightly sl similar, but not the same at all. It's definitely its own fragrance. But that's the closest thing that I can think of that it kind of reminds me of. It's really, really pretty. I'm super excited to try this, to wear this one. Um, I had really good luck with the Naomi Campbell perfume that I bought, so I have a feeling I'll have really good luck with this one too. So that is Naomi Campbell Pret a Porter. And then you guys, I was so excited to see this. She sent a little um, bottle of Christian Dior Dune. This, I think this is the original formulation because it says Christian Dior on the bottle, not just Dior. I haven't compared it to the my new bottle, um, but I'm pretty, I'm quite sure that this is an original formulation. This is Parfums, it says Parfums Christian Dior on the bottom of the bottle. Oh my gosh, I was, I could not believe my eyes when I saw it. So now I have a bottle of the original formulation of Dune and I could not be more grateful and so happy. Um, I love Dune. I love the new formulation, but it's not it's not anywhere near as good as this original formulation. Like I hate to even I hate to even waste a spray. I love it. <laughs> I love this perfume so much. Yes, this is definitely the original formulation. I could not believe my eyes when I saw this in there. Yeah, you can even tell just by the bottle, the new bottle. The new bottle is fine. It looks really, really similar, but you can just tell that this is like an older bottle, that this is the, the original. Oh my gosh, I love this. The older formulation is just so much more rich smelling. It's so rich and so vintage leaning. Not leaning, it's vintage smelling. Straight up vintage smelling. It's amazing. I am so thankful to have this in my collection. So yeah, that is a little bottle of the original formulation of Dune. Okay, this is what she was originally sending. This is the James Bond perfume. So um, I got a sample of this perfume. Gosh, it's been a while ago um, because I hadn't even moved yet when I got that sample and I fell in love with it. And she emailed me and said she had a bottle of this perfume and asked if I would want it. And I was like, I would be so happy to have it because I loved I loved this perfume. This is such an inexpensive, really, really beautiful gem. Um, I love the bottle because it looks like it's an opaque black bottle, but it's not opaque. It is black, but you can see the liquid in it. It's like hard to explain. When you hold it up to the light, you can see through it. This is an amazing perfume. Like you would never know. It's a James Bond perfume, which is really weird, but oh my goodness. And the sprayer on it is gorgeous. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's, this is like a musky, fruity perfume. That's the best way I can describe it. It's sweet. It's like a sweet, musky, fruity perfume or like a sweet, musky berry. It's like a sweet, musky, black currant scent. Really is what it smells like. It's gorgeous. I love this perfume. So I am so excited to have it in my collection. It's really, really beautiful. It's a little underrated gem. Um, so anyways, that is the 007, that's, it's just like the 007 James Bond perfume. And the bottle is so pretty too. I mean, the bottle is really, really gorgeous. I love it. Okay, next she sent this Demeter fragrance. This is Demeter Honey. It's amazing. It smells 
exactly like honey like a light like a light honey perfume it almost smells like it has some kind of a grain in it I know that sound I know that sounds weird but it smells like a kind of slightly grainy honey it's really beautiful it's gonna be an amazing fragrance to layer with um, Demeter perfumes are perfect layering fragrances. I have no idea how this one performs. I'm gonna have to see how this one performs. A lot of them don't perform very well, but I don't know. This honey one might might do better than a lot of the others, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated. So that is Demeter Honey. Last but not least, this is another one I was so excited to see. This is a Blue Marine perfume. This is called Bellis Bellissima parfum intense so i had a one ounce bottle of this perfume four or five years ago now and i've always kind of regretted decluttering that one very rarely do i regret regret decluttering perfumes but this was one that i just had a feeling that if i would have waited and to let it deepen up a little bit that it would have deepened up and changed and that I would have loved it. This one has deepened up compared to my old bottle. This is like a bottle that's had time to sit and change and get deeper and I love it. This is a beautiful, slightly sweet, a little bit powdery, kind of like irisy type of perfume. I absolutely love the bottle. The lid is beautiful. It's heavy and weighted it's just a gorgeous bottle but yeah i am really really excited to have this back in my life because it is one that i did always kind of regret um decluttering so it's a beautiful slightly powdery a little bit sweet again kind of slightly irisy perfume it's gorgeous so that is blue marine bellissima parfum intense Okay, this next one is the perfume that my beautiful friend sent over to me. This is a fragrance from Latafa, and this is called Nebras. And um, this is a little, this is a 20 mil. I don't know if it's a decant or I'm pretty sure this comes from Latafa like this. It's, it just says fragrance sample Nebra, Nebras, 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 um, and it is a 20 mil. I, I was like, how in the world did they fit 20 mil in this? But they did. Um, so we were texting one night and she asked me, I think it was one night, I can't remember, yeah. And she asked me if I had smelled this one yet and I haven't. And it's one that I knew, I'm pretty sure this one is kind of getting hyped up right now because number one, they're raising the price on it. Number two, which anytime a fragrance gets really hyped up, they immediately raise the price on it because they know that they can. And number two, I've been getting a lot of comments in my comment section on you know quite a few of my videos about this perfume. For whatever reason, I hadn't come across it yet, but anyway, she ordered, I think she started with a 20 mil like this one, and then she immediately ordered an, a full bottle of it. This is the most beautiful, like, fruity chocolate fragrance, and it's funny because she said, she said it smells just like a Cadbury fruit and nut bar, and as soon as she said that, I was like, Oh my gosh, because I love Cadbury Fruit and Nut Bars. They're my favorite. Besides Caramellos, they're my favorite Cadbury chocolate bars. I love Fruit and Nut Bars so much. And this really does smell exactly the way a Cadbury Fruit and Nut Bar tastes. And in fact, the day that she, the day that this got to me, I immediately sprayed it on. I wore it as my scent of the day that day and I had to buy a Cadbury fruit and nut bar. <laughs> and I ended up eating the entire bar of chocolate because this perfume will literally make you crave Cadbury fruit and nut. It's so good. It is the most yummy, beautiful, fruity chocolate. It's very linear though, and the fruit never takes over the chocolate, which is amazing. A lot of time chocolates just can't withstand all of the other notes in a perfume a lot of the time the chocolate will just turn really synthetic or 
will get pushed to the background and you just won't smell it. You'll just smell everything else but the chocolate. This one, that doesn't happen. It's really, really linear and it smells the same from the time you spray it on until it wears off. And it's amazing because that's, you know, you that's what you want to smell like. I love it. It's a really yummy, yummy chocolate, like fruity chocolate perfume. It's really beautiful. I can completely understand. If it is getting hyped up, I can completely understand why. It's a yummy perfume and that bottle is stunning. That's a picture of the bottle on the front and it's really beautiful. It's like this beautiful black and gold bottle. Um, gorgeous. I think my 20 mil lasts me for a good little while, but as soon as I run out of this, I will absolutely pick up a full bottle. It's beautiful. So thank you to my beautiful friend for sending that over. I love this, it's yummy. Um, that is Latafa Nebris. And then last but not least is my scent bird. So the, my scent bird for this month, and sometimes I'll share these, sometimes I won't. This one I had to share because I am obsessed with this. I've never been the biggest fan of Memo fragrances. I think they're fine. I just think they're very, very expensive for what they are, and a lot of them smell like other fragrances that you can get on the market and for a lot cheaper. So I feel they're beautiful quality fragrances, though. Do not get me wrong. Like, I think they're absolutely worth the price tag, and I think they're worth it if you love them and you don't care that there's something else out there that smells like it, you just want the memo, I 100% understand because they're gorgeous perfumes. Um, this one had has gotten hyped up in the past though. This one is called Marfa and it's gotten hyped up in the past and I never really was interested because I was like, it's another, you know, orange blossom and tuberose fragrance. There's, it's a dime a dozen. There are a million fragrances like that on the market. I'm just not interested, right? Well, this is why I subscribe to Scentbird because you can get 8 mil decants of fragrances from houses like Memo for $16, and which I think is a good deal. Um, if you go onto a decant website and, and look up Memo fragrances on a decant website, it's going to be very expensive for a lot less perfume. So this is what I use Scentbird for. Um, when I saw that they had a bunch of memo fragrances on Scentbird and that you didn't have to pay any extra for them, I was like, oh, I'm totally going to add those to my list. And I did. So I added Marfa just because. And you guys, oh my goodness. Yes, this is another tuberose orange blossom scent, but there is something about this that is so amazing smelling. It's not groundbreaking, but there's something in the base of this perfume that sets it apart from any other like tuberose orange blossom combination perfume that I've smelled. This thing smells so expensive. It's so warm. It's got a cleanliness to it that is stunning. The tuberose is warm and fresh without being like indolic in any way. It's really, really warm, but stays very crisp and fresh at the same time. For once, the orange blossom doesn't overpower the entire fragrance. You can smell the orange blossom, but it's not overpowering. It's an incredible perfume. I love it so much. Do I think I need a full bottle? No, this eight mil decant will probably last me a lifetime because it is strong. You only need like one or two sprays of this and you're good, um, probably for the entire day because it's such incredible quality. It's amazing. I love this. I'm so happy that I, that I picked it up. Um, it's one that I was just kind of like eh, indifferent about. I didn't think that I was gonna love it so much, but I do. I've gotten two Memo fragrances in a row for my Scentbird, and both have just been stunning. So anyways, that one is called Marfa from Memo, and it is beautiful. So anyways, guys, that is a bunch of smelly mail that I got this past week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.